I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. Valentine's Day does not fall on a Wednesday this year, but it will today on The Rough Draft Diaries. And we're going to do things a little differently. This Valentine comes in the form of a story. To be specific, the story of how Ann Arbor couple, Joe and Harvey, met and got married. Now, I'll set up the first part of the story, but I mainly want them to tell it. So sit back and relax as you hear how Joe married Harvey. The year is 1957. Joe is a recent college grad living in Bellflower, California. She's been doing so for the past two years. When she isn't working as a teacher, she's hanging out with her friends at a Bible study club connected with her local church. One Sunday, a new member arrives at the club, which is sometimes held at Joe's brother's house. His name is Harvey, and he has just recently moved into town. Hello, my name is Harvey. Hi, I'm Joe Freidefeld, and we met in California. I came probably on a Friday or something. Your friend Fred was there also, and the the three of us had dinner together. You prepared the dinner at your brother's house. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he he got to see me. He's looking for a wife. <laughs> I didn't know that, but uh, anyway, I could see that he was interested in me before we ever he ever asked me for a date, because he was always looking at me. And this was a pretty large group, so I wasn't surprised when he called me one day and asked me. Uh, would I like to go to a football game? Well, I'd never been to a football game before, so he had to explain to me what was going on in the field. I was hoping I didn't appear too stupid, <laughs> but we enjoyed each other, and well, we continued dating. Now, in addition to that statement, we both went to Calvin College for four years at the same time, and we never met there. I remember seeing his picture next to my roommate, my best friend, but we were in different, I was studying to become a teacher and he was into being a physics, so, and he lived at home and I lived in a dormitory or in a private home, so we never met, but we meet in California (laughs) and we had never been, I had never been that far away from home. Well, he, he, I knew he loved me, but I wasn't sure that we were ready for marriage yet. And I was his first date, I first think. First girlfriend. First girlfriend. And I thought, I want you to know uh, for sure if I'm the one. So I want you to date a few of the friends that we have here. And so he did. Well, he went one on, of them, yeah. One and, of them, yeah. Uh, he did that, and yeah, he didn't care for them. <laughs> so that was... 58 years. Well, it will be 58 years in July. Well, you got to work at it. I mean, everything isn't smooth. <laughs> uh, but you got to be forgiving and, and, and admit wrong. <laughs> and we had to get to know each other in a different way after we got married because we had a a baby very soon. So starting a family was very new (laughs) (laughs) and it was different. I had only taught for three years. I remember my father saying when we got married, he said, remember uh, that you are a wife first. In other words, you might have to stop your work. And in those days, that was understood, that once you got married, the wife would stay home. So that was, it was not exactly, uh, it was a little lonely at first, but um, I knew that was the right thing to do. I guess we probably don't feel that that is the way everybody has to do it. No. We have a son and daughter-in-law she works and she earns more money than he does and and they're happy and they get along well and you know but 
it's it's a different situation then. It, it, you have to adjust to that kind of thing. So I I think we we're both quite different. He's a little bit more quiet, mm-hmm. and I'm sometimes too talkative. <laughs> <laughs> so we learn to know each other, get to know each other, and uh, appreciate each other. I guess I just uh, would never. Uh, if I could help it, divorced by husband. I mean, we have had differences, but uh, never anything so great that uh, we couldn't get, you know, we forgive each other and so on. But uh, it just, when I married, that was going to be it. And it worked out very well. I'm Haley Taylor, and you've been listening to The Rough Draft Diary.